all night I shall sing As long as I live As long as I live Oh, I, I shall sing yeah, 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 You know I shall write As long as I can Every Tuesday night I shall write Yeah, 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 you know In my days I've seen many faces Ooh, you know I've been many places Too late to turn back now If I did, you would strike me down Yes, I got a lot of places to go And lots and lots and lots of things to do If you think I'm gonna give it up now Long as I live I shall sing As long as I live As long as I live I shall sing I shall sing As long as I live As long as I live I shall sing Yes, like all of these musicians who bring it to you tonight We do it to help you keep up and do the good fight We got a job to do and we won't stop now We got things to do, we conquer it one by one, y'all Yeah, one foot in front of the other One postcard to another Make it pretty and I keep it And I show all their friends all of your beauty Well! I thank God it made me to sing To the world the message I bring Some you know in my heart Come all along good seed with soul I don't care what they say you do Never stop and no, no, no way that's true Ah, uh, come on, you know, someday we'll be Flying so high, yeah We shall sing As long as we live As long as we live All the brothers and sisters Together you know We got the job to do Write your postcard Me and you Convince the world What they could do Never give up You know It's true Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so glad you're here Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm Glad you're here Look at all those musical guests Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. They came just for you Because you, you really matter It's true, all the things you do You really matter Oh yeah, you really matter You're important, all the things you write and say You're convincing people to do the right thing today Yeah, welcome to day Oh, yeah, look at all these great slides going by. Monday night screenings, we never have to go anywhere but Envoys for Humanity. Woo! Yay! Um, thank you so much, Leanne. I, I just, you know, I adore you. I spew love every time I see you. But you just, you just have a way about you of just making me smile every time you come on. I can be like, in the moment like trying to get everything running behind the scenes and then you start singing and i just smile and you just ah, so I, i'm I, doing my job thank you for letting me <laughs> thank you i'm so appreciative of you um welcome everybody it's another tuesday uh, my name is kari ramirez and i am the co-founder of on voice for humanity and we meet every tuesday here to um come together to take action but also just be present in the moment and and appreciate beautiful music, beautiful art, um, inspirational speakers, and, and like I said, take action at the same time. So we, um, as Envoys for Humanity, are currently what, writing um, postcards to young black voters in Georgia, ages 18 to 25 years old, and um, reminding them of all the important things that they need to know to vote, how to request their absentee ballot, the dates for early voting, um, encouraging their friends and family to join. So if you haven't written with us before, um, we are here to help you. All of the information to get post, to get addresses, um, presentation slide if you're new, um, how to get the script, all of that information is gonna be in the chat and we will post that information all throughout. So if you're a veteran writer and you've been writing with us 
um, already. Thank you so much for all the work that you put in these little cards. These handwritten cards really do make an impact on voters. So thank you so much for all that you're doing. Welcome if you're new to writing. Um, if you're writing for another organization or you're text banking or maybe you're writing an article, um, doing some other kind of work or just taking a breather from um, the longest week, even though it's only Tuesday. Uh, California just went into um, lockdown um, for three weeks. And so we're in day two of complete lockdown where everything is shut down. So, so um, it's just nice to be in the space um, for these two hours. And so we welcome everybody. If you're here, you're in the right place, no matter what you're doing. Um, so thank you so much. Um, you might have noticed we we do for so we can um, hear our musicians and hear our speakers. Everybody will be muted for most of the event. Um, so Zoom etiquette. This is clapping if you want to clap for the um, our artists um, or our speakers, and and please feel free to use the chat. Say hello, where you're from motivate all of us. Um, we're, we welcome you to be able to communicate in that chat. And, and again, we're also here, our team is here um, to help answer any questions you might have regarding postcarding. So I think that's it. So on that note, um, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pass it back over to Leanne and she is going to spread some more joy um, to kick us off for our, our Tuesday night. So take it away, Leanne. Oh, gladly. You know what? It's John Lennon's birthday. Isn't that right? Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell, no hell below us and above us, only sky. Imagine all the people all living for today. Yeah, yeah. Imagine there's no countries. Oh, it isn't too very hard to do. And nothing to kill, nothing to kill or die for. beautiful world can you imagine turning those two seats can you imagine this easy transition can you imagine when we receive our vaccination imagine yeah 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 or imagine imagine oh yeah say that I'm a dreamer oh but you know what I am not the only one come on all of you beautiful people yeah oh the world the world will live as one y'all we're living as a one yeah we gonna make it right y'all oh, oh, oh. Imagine, look at that. That is gorgeous. No possessions. I wonder if you can, they say, you know, if you can believe it, you can receive it. So let's imagine it. Let's believe it, believe it, believe the brotherhood of man. Oh, imagine all the people. only ones even though you're here every single tuesday and we're gonna make sure everyone knows yes you know the world will be as one y'all 
know what I'll be as a one, y'all. We're not gonna stop, no, no. We're gonna keep on, keep on. Yeah, imagine, imagine it, oh, yeah. I imagine, imagine it, oh, yeah, yeah. Possessions, but mostly imagine Georgia going our way. I can see it. Let's just see it and believe it and keep writing it out. You know, uh, I don't know how, how it can't happen, but all right, another John Lennon song. We got time for one more, I think. I'm watching that clock. I don't know what we got time for. Oh, well, let's see. I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to change it. You know, this is a song. It's called I Saw Her Standing There. It's about a 17-year-old girl. Well, we're not going to do that. I'm going to make it about a 70-year-old man. How about that? Well, he was just 70. What I mean, and the way he looked, it was way beyond compare. Oh, well, how could I dance with another? Oh, when I saw him standing there. Oh, well, he looked at me. You know what I, I could see that before too long. I saw him standing there. Oh, well, my heart went boom when he crossed that room and he held his hand in mine. Oh, yeah. You know what? We danced all through the night and then we held each other tight, yeah. And before too long, I fell in love with him. Cut it up, baby. Oh, I, I'll never dance with another, no. Ooh, since I saw him standing there. You know, well, I know some of y'all were 17-year-old girls when this song came out. And you just thought he was singing right to you. But now, it sounds kind of creepy when you think about it. Doesn't it? For the rest of my life. Yeah, well, my heart went boom when he crossed that room and I held his hand in my ear. Oh, and we danced all through the night and we held each other tight. And before too long, I fell in love. Because we're not going to let that turn us around. You know, I think all throughout history, all the sto ancient stories you hear is about man's um, inhumanity to man. And we just need to pursue and carry and shine love everywhere and every time we can. I think I have time for one more song. You do. Song. Yeah, you do. You've got about, you've got about uh, six minutes, Leanne. Right. We, we started a little early this time. Okay. Okay. Fine. 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 Fine with me. Fine with me. Oh, 
<laughs> well, just keep writing, keep writing. Somebody called me tonight and said, Hey, Leanne, can you write? Can you, can I bring you some more postcards to write? And I said, bring them on, bring them on. She said her hand was starting to cramp up and she couldn't do it. So y'all are warriors out there doing it, you know, um, writing, especially if you have, let me show you my writing. My writing is pretty poor. And I know our mess. y'all tell us, say, make sure your handwriting is neat. Well, I try, but I just, I hope they get the feeling of it. You know, they know that I'm insincere and I get the point across, but you know, as soon as they told me I didn't have to uh, do cursive writing anymore, I went back to block printing. So if John Lennon were still alive, he would be 80 years old. That's pretty young, right? I mean, because that last song was about a 70 year old. So this is a song about I wrote. It's called Robbie and Mona. These are two real true characters. And I haven't done this in a while. And their names are Robbie and Mona. And they met each other. They re-met each other. It's their romance after re-meeting. Arm in arm down the boulevard. They strolled as the evening stars winked down to see who's in love. Giggling and gazing at the world so amazing, like stardust had slipped from above. Such a beautiful couple, I remarked as I came up admiring their style. They offered their story of life and its glory as if I were their long lost child Robbie and Mona 62 years older the last time they kissed it was a night just like this in the back seat of Robbie's new car they parted the next day never quite all the way so sweet and completely look what life brings it's never too late for first love they drifted apart two ships in the dark on adventures exploring the world and he became a brave soldier stronger and bolder and she somebody's good girl with family and friends the story begins from the seeds planted deep in their hearts and as time is a healer it's a wheeler and it's a dealer it's also a revealer of love. Robbie and Mona, 62 years older. The last time they kissed, it was a night just like this. In the back seat of Robbie's new car, mm, they parted the next day. Never quite all the way. So sweet and completely, look what life brings. It's never too late for first love. Robbie and Mona, 62 years older. How old would that make them? The last time they kissed, it was a night just like this, an explosion of remarkable spark. If they'd never gone there, they never would be right here, right now. So sweet and completely, look what life brings. It's never too late for first love. Robbie and Mo.
Robbie and Mona. Hey, y'all, I've got one minute. I'm going to sing you this next little chorus. I wrote, I'm trying to write it with Bill Kirchin, uh, who was the special guest last week. Last week. So I ha I just, that's what I was showing you, this scribbly writing. But it's, um, I'm just going to do the chorus, if I can even remember how it goes. When we receive our vaccination, oh, what a day that will be. Yeah. Oh, dancing all throughout the nations. Oh, Lord, you know we've been set free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we receive our vaccinations, whole world will jump and sing. No confrontation, just appreciation. Yeah. When we receive our vaccination. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, hallelujah. When we receive our vaccination, we all shall be set free. Whoa, yes. <laughs> Woohoo. Way to go, Leanne. That sounds awesome. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a rocker from coast to coast before we know it. Yeah. <laughs> So Leanne Atherton, our, our Minister of Music, and we are so excited to have you back in the Minister of Music spot after a, a brief reprieve last week and, um, and, and the, in the um, expanded version that you took on and all of the work that you did lining up um, all of our Austin-based music, musical guests last week. You go above and beyond week after week. We're so grateful. I'm so grateful to y'all for what you're doing for our democracy. That's really a big deal. Thank you, Leanne. Well, let's, um, we will certainly see you again soon. And um, let's bring in our guest musical group from, we have Danelia Cotton and a band with her, backing her up in the studio in New York City, coming to us live. Danelia Cotton, are you there? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Excellent, excellent. Let's see here. Let's find you. It's not popping up uh, just yet. Let's spotlight you and get this baby dialed in. There you are. Very nice to see you. Um, we met Olivia um, um, pre-show in the green room. And um, you guys, um, I hear that it's pretty uh, cold there in New York today. Um, sound like a, uh, a frigid day and it looks like it's a good time to be in the studio. Yeah, it is, it is. Well, we are so grateful to have you um, uh, here with us and have been so um, excited to be spreading this, um, this cover um, that you just dropped this last week and the in incredible um, music video. I won't give that away um, in case somebody hasn't heard it, but we'll just uh, turn it over to you. And, and uh, we're, we're here for you, writing, writing our little hearts out um, to uh, the young voters of Georgia. OK, um, well, we're going to save that kind of ditty for a little bit later in the set. Um, we were going to start with a tune called um, Forgive Me, which uh, you guys, WMOT, was gracious enough to play. Um, well, because I know we're a little bit different for Nashville, but I don't know, it's a story, it's all good. But this is Forgive Me.
Thank you. Um, so uh, this next tune, um, you know, the whole album, I think, sort of came before what was going on, sort of, I don't know how thematically I ended up in the pocket of the world, but we ended up in a different war, COVID and everything. So um, this is sort of, uh, it's a tune that I wrote with my sister. We just did a whole thing on Ted's talk, the conjure women all over the world. She was one of the women, I think that'll broadcast in a few weeks, but um, her and I both, we grew up in a small white town in New Jersey and that's why I sing a little bit of rock and roll and uh, um, where that comes from. But um, this is sort of a conversation between two people of different races. So. But uh, this is called A Different War. Thank you. 
thank you. Okay, okay, so um, I think um, this song fits thematically for now. I think there's like a theme for tonight with this, things have just been that crazy in the world. This is called For Your Life. And I, I, I always thought it was a good protest anthem. Um, sometimes you just have to, you gotta believe in something and you have to fight for it. Um, that's, that's that. <laughs> And let me introduce, that's Kareem Devlin with his all COVID greatness and uh, Greg Gonzalez on drums. This is for your life. take it down to, um, uh, this is a tune off of the new album, A Different War. Um, it is called If You Don't Want Me. Um, I think the cool thing about If You Don't Want Me is that it is more, it, it's more an ode to someone that really does love you. And once you know the greatness of that love, 
you can't imagine not having me. Whoops. <laughs> so there we go. So there we are. So I can't see you, but I hope you are enjoying the set um, of a little bit. Oh, Andrew, can we see love? Is there love? Is there love? So much love. So okay. <laughs> um, okay. So this is called Sheep High. Um, 
I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of, yeah. I think this is, you know, they call me, this is my Cheryl Crow tune. You know, I don't mind being compared to Lil Crow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Cheap High and it is, um, it's about my relation to money. Might be yours too. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys, you might have to pull another one out after we do our other two. <laughs> Unless, um, I don't know if they want to talk to us for a minute, but um, 
This is uh... You guys are sounding amazing. It's so cool to hear the live version of Cheap High after watching the video. And uh, you guys just ripped that up. It was just outstanding. We're so lucky to be hearing this new music from your new album. Um, you know, it, it, well, it's so fresh. And, and, and how long has that album been out now? Um, ooh, I want to say, is it December? I like, I can't, I feel like time is so, I don't know. Like, I feel like we've just been inside so long. <laughs> like, it feels like it was like years ago, <laughs> but it was the beginning of COVID because I remember doing the video in COVID, um, sneaking the film, you know, the film guy in my building and then, you know, standing really far apart. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been a minute, but um, it's great. So, so Danilia, tell us um, how how long has it been since you since you guys have played a live show? Oh my God! Sorry to test the memory, but just you know ballpark. I mean, we going back to last year. I mean, to uh, summer, 2000. Last summer, last yeah. summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, it's so it's so hard not to feel the audience. I feel like that's so much of it, and I. I I'm personally a person, I just feed, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one, but so much of what I get is from the people. And, you know, it's cool when you see the hearts and the this and the that, like, I can't see anything, I can hear you. But, you know, it's still difficult. And it's not, you don't do it necessarily. Part of you does it, yes, you want to please them, but you get, I don't think audiences understand the, their presence and the importance of them and how it contributes to your performance. I think that's, it's really like understated the importance of a great audience. It's why performers will be like, oh, I had a great audience tonight, <laughs> you know? They really feed into you. Their energy like goes into you and it, it really affects you. So I miss that. I really miss that a lot, a lot. Yeah, we, one of the things about these events that have been cool is that um, you know, the people come together and everybody has something to do, you know, other than th they're not only watching and listening, they're also writing and, um, you know, drawing, uh, creating art, um, of maybe texting, a variety of, of, of things. So it becomes a, a kind of a new media. And I know that doesn't really help from your perspective there where you're kind of isolated from us, but it has been really a, um, an interesting journey for us, kind of almost feeling like we're involved in creating a new medium when, when the, the, the participants have something in hand to actually do. And, you know, and, and we, have, uh, you know, we have people dancing. Um, in fact, <laughs> our, our little dancing angel has just arrived um, in, on the scene. So I'll turn it back over to you guys and we might get a, a little dancing action going too. Awesome. So uh, as he was mentioning earlier, um, Georgia, uh, I did a cut. We do, we do not have the rapper here, but um, we did the tune Georgia with a, with a rapper named Mickey Fats, who's amazing. And um, we sort of reimagined it to educate those in Georgia to re-register because it just, the suppression and things were just intense. And so I, I did, volunteer um, for the Democratic Party. And um, I think people are done with phone calls and things like that. So I thought music was a great way to get in there. People would, they're not, people always up for a song. And so we use Georgia to, uh, uh, we did sort of Georgia state of mind, just like New York state of mind, sort of, you know, Alicia Keys and Jay-Z. Um, and I, I had to say, it came, it came out pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. And sort of an ode also to uh, Stacey Abrams, who just, deserves a whole lot of credit for what she's done. So we're gonna give you sort of the hip hoppity Danelia Cotton version of Georgia, if I don't mess it up. <laughs> I, uh, a great pianist, Ben Stivers, who actually created that track, played on it. So I'm playing in lieu of him tonight. Um, uh, so um, let's see, but anyway, here's Georgia.
So beautiful. Guess, uh, we have one more, one more. That would be awesome. We've got we've got enough time for one more for sure. Yes, please, one more. <laughs> please, please. Okay. This is a tune called Last Song, so we'll do his last song. I don't know. I know it's Nashville, but I love this band called Oasis. I always thought if I was a member of Oasis, this would be the song. So let's hope I don't mess it up. everybody. Danelia Cotton, thank you so much. And band, you guys are just amazing. We're so lucky to have experienced that. You're only the, uh, and, and about 20, this is the 28th week that we've been doing this. And um, I believe that this is just the, maybe the third time that we have had um, a full band. So 
um, we are extremely grateful and and it's just it's so nice to hear that that full sound and um, just we wish you all the luck um, and just keep up the good work y'all stay safe and stay in touch with us absolutely thank you guys so much excellent excellent well everybody um we are as i said into the 28th week of of this adventure and um it has been um a wild ride and um we are um, looking forward to the weeks ahead we have a number of of uh great um, artists lined up as we go through these. There are five Tuesdays in, the, in December, and this is number two. So um, we're, we're definitely um, feeling uh, that we're lucky to have this, these last chances to get together. And we have just completely shattered um, the, the marks that we made during the general election with regards to how many postcards we have sent out. Um, Kari, do you have a, a kind of a, a ballpark on where we are on on our on our um, post our our postseason playoff Georgia postcarding numbers all combined? Yes, um, I do, as a matter of fact. And so, look. First of all, that was amazing music. So, thank you if you're still on here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was just that was just beautiful. Um, and your voice is uh, anyway. Thank you, thank you. Um, so talking about numbers, postcarding numbers, um, it, it's just been an incredible journey when, when all this began, you know, we, we didn't really know we were gonna take this and it is really because of everyone writing, right? The writers and the support, um, Scott and I helped make it happen and kind of guide and then you guys took over and just made this incredible thing happen. And every time I see new numbers come in, I'm just I'm just filled completely with joy. So the numbers that we have right now, so just to give you an idea, during the general election, we wrote postcards to Texas, North Carolina, Florida, and Michigan. And we wrote a total of 74,743 postcards. So almost 75,000 postcards. So far since we began writing to Georgia on November 10th, so not even a month yet, um, we have written 99,397 postcards. So guys, almost 100,000 postcards within a month, which is incredible. And we are working on, we're, our focus is always trying to reach that uh, a specific set of voters, right? So we started with purge voters in the beginning and then um, once we went through that, then we are reaching out to young voters. Um, particularly, we're looking into rural areas where, where maybe they don't get a lot of information out to them. Um, so we're sending these postcards via mail where, where they might not, I know, right? It's, it's incredible. So almost 100,000 postcards just in, in the, the not even month that we've been doing it. And like Scott said, we still have three more weeks left to write. And so thank you guys so much um, for writing for everything that you're doing. We, I love seeing on social media. So just a plug, um, as you're writing your postcards and you're getting ready to mail them, take pictures. You can take a selfie with them. You can arrange them in beautiful arrangement. Um, and thank you, Brandy, right on cue. And make sure you tag us in at the Envoy Way on all the socials. And that helps spread the word. Um, and, and it just makes our numbers grow so we can reach, we have, enough addresses to get us through um, till the week before election. And that's when we're gonna stop sending those out. So we have plenty of addresses to get through. We have plenty of voters to reach. And so invite your friends, invite your family. If they wanna come here and join Virtually Great, if that's not their, their thing, um, they can write on their own and, and get addresses and write on their own. So, so thank you. So almost 100,000, uh, we're gonna blow that out of the water and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like tomorrow. Um, so, so again, thank you so much. And thank you so much for the Envoy team. Um, thank you so much to um, our address request team that is just working night and day trying to keep up with all the requests that everybody's putting in. Um, thank you for everybody that's making this possible for these Zooms to happen. It literally, like Scott said, takes a village 
um, to make this happen. And so thank you guys so much. So just wow, wow, wow. And that's it. Awesome. That is, that's so cool. Well, um, with that being said, um, you know, our, as Kari alluded to, our, 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 our outreach has been very targeted and um, we have really kind of found our, our place to create meaningful actions for people to readily take. As, as everybody knows, you're welcome to bring whatever action you want into these meetings um, that we do at the Zocalo, but um, we're very um, happy about the way these particular outreach um, strategies that we have developed in-house have worked out so well, and the partners that we've had um, at Civitech in Austin, and with Steve Tingley Hawk and um, um, and um, in Ohio with the Ohio Voters Project, um, that has been just wonderful as well. Um, so, but you know, I feel like that that really um, what is what's coming up is um, uh, as we see in this battle with uh, with with Trump and and Republicans. You know, Trump is just the newest face of voter suppression and and the whole undermining of the democratic process. And we at Envoys for Humanity. Um, you know, I mean, what are envoys on? There are no, you know, we are not on, we haven't deputized ourselves, the envoys for humanity. We're all, anybody is an envoy for humanity who's doing work for the greater good. So um, um, as we go about that and we move forward, we really see ourselves as taking on this voter, um, really there needs to be a new Voters' Rights Act um, or <clears throat> to revive the one that got gutted by Shelby um, versus Holder in 2013, which the movie that Stacey Abrams has created, um, All In, The Fight for Democracy highlights. We have shown that movie four times. This will be the fourth time next, next um, Monday, the 14th. We invite everybody to not only come, but to spread the word, to bring your friends um, to um, the, the screening to, um, if you can't make it, to, to, to find it on Amazon Prime and, and see it and share it there. I really feel like that this movie is at the heart of, of um, getting the word out about voter suppression and how, in, how systematic it has been ingrained in the ebb and flow of our country over the years. We've got a, a trailer for the movie that Kari's gonna put on and, um, and then we're gonna, um, have a couple of words at the end before we get into lip bone set here um, coming right up. Oh shoot, hold on. One second, <laughs> it's been a while I guess since I screen shared. I gotta click that little button so we get sound, here we go. Today, I come to you as a young person, as a young woman, as a young black woman, to ask you to use us, use the young people of the United States of America to pave a road that will last forever. Selma, Alabama is located in Dallas County. 17,000 of the county's residents are Negroes. However, only 1.7% of these are registered voters. The Negroes of Selma, Alabama want to vote. We're willing to be beaten for democracy, and you misuse democracy in the street. You beat people bloody in order that they will not have the privilege to vote. You can turn your back now and you can keep the club in your hand, but you cannot beat down justice. And we will register to vote because as citizens of these United States, we have the right to do it. Dr. King and I, we had been working together to get a civil rights bill passed. We went back and we met with President Johnson. And he said, well, I know you need voting rights, but we just had a civil rights bill passed. I just don't have the power to go back to Congress for another civil rights bill. I know it's needed, but uh, I don't have the power. And he must have said, I don't have the power half a dozen times. When we left, I asked Dr. King, well, what are you gonna do? 
He said, we're going to get the president some power. Every American citizen must have an equal right to vote. What happened in Selma is part of a far larger movement which reaches into every section and state of America. Because it's not just Negroes, but really it's all of us who must overcome the crippling legacy of bigotry and injustice. And we shall overcome. He ended his speech with, and we shall overcome. That's the only time I saw Martin Luther King uh, shed a tear. My grandfather called for her from the front room. Her name was Wilter. He's like, Wilter, come on. She didn't respond. Her nickname was Bill. And so then he yelled out, Bill, it's time to go. My grandmother said she still didn't say anything. So he came back to find out why she hadn't responded. And she was frozen. She was afraid to go. And I remember her squeezing my hand and the feel of that paper thin skin and the fragile bones, but the grip that she had on my hand where she said that it wasn't that she didn't want to vote, she was afraid of it. She was afraid of the billy clubs and the hoses and the dogs, and she did not believe that this time would be any different. She didn't believe that the power of democracy was finally hers. And my grandfather told her that she had to get up, that her children had been in trouble trying to guarantee this right, and that she owed it to them, if not to herself, to get up and vote. And she said she was still terrified, she was still deeply afraid of this moment, but she was also ashamed of herself. She was ashamed that she didn't want to reach for this power. She got up, she finished getting dressed, and they went to vote. And as she squeezed my hand, she said, but Stacy, I've never missed another election. Running for governor was about changing what it meant to be a leader in Georgia. And there is nothing more transformative in the Deep South than a black woman from poverty having opportunity. It hadn't been done before, so I thought I would take advantage of the freedom to try the things no one else tried. My name is Stacey Abrams, and I'm running to be the next governor of the great state of Georgia. We talked to people. We met them at their doors, we met them at their churches, their mosques, their temples, their shrines, their synagogues. I went to Dragon Con and one music fest. I also talked about real issues. I talked about my brother and his fight with drug addiction and incarceration. There are thousands of walkers throughout the state of Georgia who only get the help they need when they go to prison. I'm running for governor because I don't believe Georgia is just a state of retribution. I want it to be a state of redemption. But I also had solutions, and I talked about the things that people care about every single day. Georgia, we need you to show up. Pues oye, show wait, 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 Stacey Abrams. Para la candidata Stacey Abrams para gobernadora. We wanted everybody who could vote to vote and to vote for me. It is in our hand to make Stacey Abrams the next governor of the state of Georgia and give it up for your next governor. Thank you, Georgia. The ballot battle in Georgia's governor's race is over. Ryan Kemp will be certified the winner. I was very angry. I'm still very angry. Um, very angry. Make no mistake, the former Secretary of State was deliberate and intentional in his actions. Pundits and hyperpartisans will hear my words as a rejection of the normal order. You see, I'm supposed to say nice things and accept my fate. They will complain that I should not use this moment to recap what was done wrong or to demand a remedy. 
You see, as a leader, I should be stoic in my outrage and silent in my rebuke. But stoicism is a luxury and silence is a weapon for those who would quiet the voices of the people. And I will not concede because the erosion of our democracy is not right. My responsibility as the daughter of daughter. Robert and Carol. People who had been denied the right to vote as the great, great granddaughter of slaves. My job was to use this election. Oops. Oops, sorry. Sorry. That gives you a taste of what you will be in for if you can make it next week. As I say, this is such a powerful movie. I feel like it is at the center of the kind of movement for voter rights um, and the resurgence of that uh, Voter Rights Act that was gutted by Shelby versus Holder in 2013. And we have with us um, this evening, as we have had recently, our good friend in Georgia, Robin Donaldson, to give us um, a few words about what's going on this week and any thoughts she might have about the powerful nature of this movie that we'll be showing again on the 14th. How's it going, Robin? Pretty good, how are you? So thanks for having me again. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we would not be the same without you and it's your birthday, my goodness, yeah! happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Look at my, so my birthday is today. Um, one of my friends gave me this shirt. Thank you, Stacey Abrams. <laughs> Stacey's birthday is tomorrow. And guess whose birthday is the day after Stacey's? <laughs> David Perdue. <laughs> oh, no. I was going to guess Ossoff or Warnock. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. So anyone out there who knows anything about astrology, we're all Sagittarius's. <laughs> <laughs> Must be wow. some, like, past life thing. <laughs> Well, um, the stars are definitely lining up, and I hear that <laughs> Jupiter and Saturn are at their closest point together um, in 800 years or something like that as yeah. we come towards the, the 21st, which just happens to be the solstice, which the solstice. is also crazy. I didn't know you were into astrology, Scott. We'll have to talk one day. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, so we're um, things are going well here. Uh, over, it's, I think it's like we're at like a million and... 65, uh, 1 million and 65,000 people um, who have requested an absentee ballot already. And we know um, that uh, I think as far as the runoffs, you know, it's, it's breaking records, you know, for the runoffs. So we're the, uh, the deadline passed for voter registrations so that was yesterday. Um, so we'll, you know, hopefully see some change in those numbers. Um, let's see what else. Uh, one thing that um, people have been sharing, you know, people who've been polling in the state, um, especially with young people, um, is that a lot of people are really looking at this um, election to like they're inspired by using their their voting power. Um, and, and even more so than their like for the candidates, but the, just really wanting to be able, now that they've seen that they could, you know, flip the state, you know, now people are, you know, they have a taste of voting and, and more people are um, interested. So there was an effort to make sure they registered the, um, see as, if they could register as many as the 23,000 people who would turn 18 by election day. So, um, so we'll, we should be getting those numbers too, to see, you know, how that went, um, probably in the next week or so. And so there was a debate on Sunday. I don't know if people were able to catch it on CNN. Uh, it was John Ossoff and versus a podium that was representing David Perdue, because this is like the second or third debate that he has um, pulled out of, and he won't debate um, Ossoff because he had a embarrassing moment hearing his record, you know, being repeated, you know, by John. So he's not debating. Um, and then Warnock and Leffler, they uh, debated. And um, clearly, if anyone saw it, uh, Warnock won. Uh, Leffler, she, she was just kind of repeating attacks. She really didn't have anything because, you know, they haven't really provided Georgians any relief from the, um, the pandemic. And, you know, she's just Lock, lockstep with Trump. And so she really didn't have too much to offer. So he had, I think he had a good night. So we're just getting ready for um, early voting, in-person early voting um, on uh, December 14th. And uh, we're going to be having a big phone bank, um, you know, uh, envoys and some of our Facebook groups and other groups are coming together to have a phone bank the Sunday night, um, Sunday evening before um, early vote in person begins. So um, we'll, you know, I'm sure we'll all be sharing more information about it. So, 
yeah, so we're just gearing up, you know, for that. And of course, fundraising, donating, uh, gasenate.com, um, that will split the donation between Fair Fight and then both campaigns. And yeah, just continuing to ask people to donate and volunteer and get involved. That's kind of the focus. Excellent. Well, Robin, we are so lucky to have you with your finger on the pulse on the ground there with respect to everything that's going on and that you came in on your birthday, um, <laughs> you know, doesn't surprise us because we know how much you, you love this, oh. you know, this work and thank you so much. And, and we hope that, that your day is, is extra special. Thank you. I thought you were going to say not surprised because I'm thinking you all have so much fun. So I'm like, of course, I was I was planning to be here <laughs> on my birthday. So thank you. Yeah, I well, I want to I want to say happy birthday. Also, so happy birthday. It's been so great working with you. And I'm just I'm excited fun. to do incredible things together in, in Georgia. So thank you. Absolutely. For being here and, and being our, our, our Georgia on the ground, giving us that that personal sure. touch the work that yeah, we're doing. Yeah, thanks everybody for writing those postcards too. We appreciate all the support. Happy birthday. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Yay. Thanks so much, Robin. We'll be in touch and we can't wait till, till, next, till next week for the 14th for our next screening, uh, all in the fight for democracy and, um, and the phone bank that you mentioned and all the other wonderful things that we're doing with you. So thank you thank again. Thank you. All right. Have a wonderful evening. Thanks, everybody. Bye, Robin. Happy birthday. Bye. -bye. Thanks. And now we have with us for the third time um, this in this amazing year of, of struggle, um, the, um, un, the unflappable, good vibing king of, of, uh, of pranksterism and, and, and all kinds of wonderful things. Um, how are you doing, Lipbone? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? I mean, it, actually, I think you guys are probably doing really well. It we sounds are. like, yeah, I, I could never imagine writing as many postcards as you guys have, or anybody, any collective group of folks could ever put that many postcards together. You know, that's well, it's you know, I, we owe it to the artists of the world for helping us build this platform and you know it started off on June 8th with shiny ribs aka Kevin Russell who gave us the confidence and and showed us that this could work our first time out of the shoot and then just going down the road you know with all of our our, our team members like Phaedra who um, connected us with you and um, and then people like you and, and and Kevin Russell aka shiny ribs and and others who have come back time and again to, to, you know, and have extended this generosity of, of, of you know, on y'all's part, um, right when you guys are not able to play and, and whatnot. And we know it's a tough, it's such a tough time for artists. We just wanna, you know, going forward, we'd love to figure out a way to, to help the musicians of the world more than we have been able to do because y'all have, have helped us succeed. Well, I think musicians understand how important uh, music and art is to a cooperative society, which is ultimately what it seems like we are all in the mood to become and build. So thank you guys for hosting me. You're welcome. Well, I'm going to get my clumsy self out of the way and turn it over to, uh, to a real professional here. Thank you so much for coming back. All right. If you could be anything that you wanted, who would you like to be? Rich or a star, you already are. Better by far, y'all, to be free. If you could fly through space and through time Beyond the moon, the stars and sea 
Would you fly to a friend who needs some understanding? All you gotta do, reach out your hand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. We can make it after all. Love with all your might, and you can't go wrong. Oh, we can make it, yeah. After all, love with all your might, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Oh, oh, no. Can't go wrong. If you could ease all the suffering of the world, no, no, it seems like an impossible plan. Every woman, child, and man, you already can. All you gotta do, reach out your hand. Yeah, don't you know that? We can make it after all. Love with all your might. Oh, we can make it. Yeah, we can make it all after all. After, after all oh. Oh, 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 oh We can make it Oh, we can make it You, after all Just love with all your might Just love with all your might Love with all your might, and you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you could be anything that you wanted, who would you like? to be I think I have more questions than answers you know? <laughs> but I also like to dance so that's a good thing where words fail I hope everybody can hear me pretty good out there is it is it working okay all right good I've been taking tutorials online, but none of them seem to work. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I got left back in the 20th century somewhere. Maybe Carrie can send me some tutorials next time. <laughs> I said, I keep talking to your picture. Here I am again. <laughs> I keep just chatting all night with the wall. I chit chat for hours and say, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love, you. I love but can't get no answer at all. Staring at your picture, you know the one I'm talking about. The one we took on Zoom Zocalo. Woo! The one we took the night we fell in love. I stand for hours. I just kiss you, baby. Ain't the same, the same. Thing.
tease like an old leather glove. All right. Staring at your picture, you know the one I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. well, they won't let me put on Facebook. Woo! And I keep dancing all night with Zoom, and I keep dancing. Making funny noises too, I think. I keep dancing with your picture, dancing with your picture. I get the jitterbug all night with the wall. Every time I turn to dip you, I like to dip you. Dipping is fun. I lose my grip, slip, trip, and then I fall. All right now. Do your picture, dancing with your picture. I can't get no answer at all. Chit chatting in the wild, oh baby, don't get me no answer. I said, Is anybody out there? Woo! I don't get me, but it hooked up, 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 up. I can't hear you. I don't get me no answer at all. Well, I mean, not the one you're drawing the postcard with, of course. You know, we don't. And if it's watercolor, please don't. You know, don't get sweaty palms all over and all that kind of stuff. You know. Whew. Uh oh, look out! Ginger's leaving, but she's gonna come back. Just so you guys know, I'm just passing the me oh, I'm just passing the message on. Okay, all right. <laughs> Why not? That was very meta of me, wasn't it? Mmm. Yeah. Good times, man. You guys, uh, you guys have been working very hard. I'm just so proud of everyone, and I, I brag on you all the time. And I say Zocalo Zoom, and they go Waka Waka Who What? Zib -zib -zib -zib. They said, Oh, no, that's just a lip bone word. And I kept trying to tell them, No, if you go to the, if you go to Mexico City, there's a, a place right in the center of town. They call it the Zocalo. And uh, man, it's a really beautiful, amazing spot. And there's a lot of songs called Zocalo, like Zocalo. Preacher's wife walked in and said, <laughs> Turn up the volume. The cowgirls meet on God at the Bay Street. Cowgirls meet on God at the Bay Street. Sun goes down, taining up the keeping all the cowgirls meet. On 
Guadalupe Street Well they were dancing on the bar Dancing in the hall Howling at the moon They were laughing at the law And the ladies were acting curiously So I strummed my guitar more furiously I mean you ought to see the ladies of Zillary Up in the ground and in their lingerie Sipping my freedom Bailey's out of the tonight Lip on in the flying machine Cow girls meet on water to play street Cow girls meet on water to play street When the sun goes down, baby, turn it on the heat Oh, the cow girls meet on the cow girls The trouble was clear, the bass went boom Blue lights started flashing and it filled up the room And then the sheriff burst in with his megaphone Put his hand on his hip and said Let the good times resume and you ought to see the sheriff Say let's all get along From on top of the piano, high heels and a thong Everybody thought it was a, a tub at Green until that night Lip boom showed up in the flying machine Cowgirls meet on Guadalupe Street. Cowgirls meet on Guadalupe Street. On Guadalupe. On Guadalupe. On Guadalupe. Lupe. 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 feel the magic. I can feel it. I can feel the tides turning even as I play a note. Every note. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Janet Brightly. You are the brightest star out there tonight. I can feel it. Leading us on. Onward and upward. Outward and over. Through and around. Nate, I mean... Pick a preposition, that's any one of them. Over, under, around. Woo! <laughs> 
Phaedra's one of our, our weekly Lip Bonitas. She comes to the live stream. I do a live stream three nights a week. Friday night, I do a something I call the love stream. And uh, it's at 11 p.m. Eastern time, so maybe some of y'all can't catch that one. It's a little bit late. And then uh, I do another one on Saturday evening. It'll be Saturday afternoon for a lot of you guys. It's called the Shelter Jam, and that's a little more upbeat. It's Friday night. I do poetry and I don't know, read philosophical thoughts and things like that. You know, take myself very seriously. Much to the, uh, you know, much to the amusement of all, <laughs> all those watching. <laughs> and then Sunday I do this thing called uh, the Breathe In. It's a, it's a hour long meditation. Because I lived in India for a year, and I studied Indian classical music, and I studied Advaita Vedanta, which is a, kind of an Indian philosophy. And I get a lot of my, the things that I think about and talk about, I get a lot from them there. Although I'm not doing much talking tonight, I'm doing more singing, so here we go. I'm just a boy, but I'm a soldier on the border in my country's endless war. They scattered all the sons and daughters and my mother, my father. I've not heard from them at all. Though the days pass, y'all in the nights are long. That I'm not meant to understand. Oh, there's this bird and weapon in my hand. Let the river on the rock keep talking to me. Let the stars in the sky keep singing my name, singing my name, singing my name. They said, Who? Skipping around the town. We are more, 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 more than a child. 
child of water. More, 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 more than a child of water. Said, oh, Sing this with me. Sing it while you're at it. Sing, I am more, more, more. One more time. I am more, more, more. Oh, yeah. And you are so much more, ladies and gentlemen, so much more. Good. Isn't that obvious? I mean, you guys are, you're amazing. You're beautiful. You're like, uh, you know, they, they make it sound like you're just supposed to be one thing or another thing, but really you're all the things and you can express yourself in any way you wish. I mean, if you're able to be kind to people, you get bonuses. <laughs> There you go. Met 
met you in a grocery store you spilled your peaches all over the floor I just stared into your eyes I mean why must we wear this disguise cause you're not that hard to recognize I'm sure to miss Colorado, Colorado, that's where we go to be ourselves, to be ourselves, back home they all believe we're someone else, sometimes folks don't even recognize themselves. I love you, I love you, I love you Let's not worry, let me ease your mind Cause true love is easy to find It's just that the path is undefined I love you, I love you Let's not worry Let me ease your mind True love is easy to find It's just that the path is undefined That the path is undefined. Yeah, that's not a real jump up and shout song after right when it ends. And <laughs> whoa, you know, it's more of like a ah, oh, yeah, you know. I mean, that's how I feel after I sing it. At least I don't know. Thank you, thanks, Brandy. Thanks, appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's kind of been uh, uh, the 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 twenty twenty theme song. I don't know. I I, I was in uh, before the whole pandemic thing. I, I, some of y'all know I was down in Mexico for quite a while, and uh, oh hey, what's up, Missy? How you doing? And uh, I, you know, I was I didn't know what was going to happen, and you know, especially being a musician and all that, everybody was saying everything's shutting down, and then I was just going to kind of ride it out in Central America, and uh, down in Zihuatanejo, and um, so I I. I was all set to ride it out and then United calls me up and says, you know, you got two days if you want to get on a flight out of here or you're going to have to go to some real populated urban area. And then I said, well, I'll, I'll do it. And so I ended up coming. I went to Florida and then I came back to North Carolina where I am now. And then, you know, just as all the all the madness and the the beautiful madness, some of it uh, was starting to take place and um ended up at a really beautiful place. I live at the, this place called St. Anne's Retreat 
and it's we do art and music and we garden and we try to uh we're, we're working on building a cooperative society and if you know anything about cooperative culture it's the opposite of dominator culture so um which is some people would call it the patriarchy but you know it's it's not about men and women it's about you know cooperating or not cooperating and it's not communism it's not that that's the word that the terrible word they use all the time it's it's really just about give and take and about being around people you want to share things with and uh you know it's a, it's a beautiful in a way a beautiful democracy so uh we're learning everyone's learning we're all learning about it and so i'd uh I don't know why I just shared that with you guys. You just you just felt like I wanted to share it with you and be myself. So uh, thank you for allowing me to just blossom like the little wildflower that I am. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, well, look, we got time for about one more, don't we, Scott? Is that what I'm looking at? Is it, I mean, I'm, I've kind of got, I got this new clock, man. I had to get the, uh, you know, with the face on it because I'm, tired of reading numbers i'm get, i'm going back i'm getting more and more analog i'm going back in time i think I'm... yeah go Ooh. big go big go big this is i mean oh, this I'm gonna is get just... a big bin in here you know it's gonna be a really big like a grand <laughs> i gotta wind it every few days and you know you got it phaedra thanks for bringing me to this amazing group of folks by the way phaedra you're awesome. I love you too. Thanks, Judy. But seriously, you guys go to lipbone.com and uh, l i p b o n e.com. And if I don't know what your your flavor is, if your flavor is Facebook, you can find me there. If your flavor is Instagram, you can find me there. All through lipbone.com. If you want to go to the uh, catch the Friday night poetry show and. Go to lipbone.com. If you want to catch Shelter Jam when I wear wild outfits and blow bubbles and wear sunglasses, lipbone.com. If you want to meditate for an hour on Sunday afternoons, lipbone.com. I know I'm a, I'm a weird guy, but you got to get weird before weird gets you, y'all. You know love is the answer.
else we got out of there? Come on. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Lip bone shelter jam. Shelter jam. Woo. Lip bone nobody can do it like I do it, like I do it. Like I do it. That's right. You know why? That makes us all beautiful, doesn't it? That makes us all, 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 makes us all. Oh, go ahead now. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> See you out there. That's it. Go ahead. You don't have love and oh, world peace. Oh, we got the drummers in the house. Go ahead. We got the drummers, 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 drummers in the house. That's it. Go ahead. I can feel your solo right there. I can feel it. One more thing. One more thing. I say love is the answer for world peace. World peace. World peace. World peace. Say love is the answer for world peace. World peace. World peace. And love is the answer for world peace. World peace. World peace. I mean. That's it. I want to see some good cards, man. <laughs> man, that was that was the set of all sets. Uh, we we're like we're like fifty six sets into this uh, into this extravaganza, and that one was just like it's going to stand out. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's it, you guys are inspirational. You know, you're inspirational. Well, we love to hear it, and you know, it's like it's like um, it's like Daniele was say, Danielio was saying before. Um, you know, it, 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 with music, it is a circular kind of uh, dynamic, and the, the the people bring it back. And you seem like you've really figured out how to um, to to kind of you know take that energy, even in this virtual setting, um, to some degree, with your with your tech setup there, the way you you kind of keep a close eye on things. I'm learning, man. I'm learning. It's like, uh, you know, it's just one of those, one of those things. Since the the pandemic started, I have done over a hundred of, of these or, or live streams, and so I'm, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I know, uh, I know when not to get frustrated. How about that? <laughs> no one like take breath and like take it slow, you know, get in there. You were talking about the sound early, you know, on, I have to say that the sound was as good as, as it gets. I mean, it was just so crystalline, the best that we've heard. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Zoom, Zoom is tough for sound, uh, all the musicians say. And so I've been, like I said, I've been watching a lot of uh, tutorials and none of them deliver quite as promised, but almost, you know, so, you know, thanks to all those people out there trying to educate us on how to do it. So, well, we are so lucky that we connected with you again. Like you said, thank you to Phaedra um, for for um, cluing us in, getting us, um, you know, with it. And um, and our lives will never be the same now that we have connected with with you, Lipbone. And it just what you do works so well with what we are trying to do here. The just uh, the ebb and the flow of the energy that you're able to to bring to play tonight, um, you know, picking it up, slowing it down, and just just phenomenal. Hey, I got a qu I got a question for you. Uh, so, you know, this thing, this election thing, is coming to an end for now. What what are you guys all going to do next? Yeah. yeah, great question. I'm glad you asked that. Um, so, you know, I. We, we don't want to pigeonhole ourselves into a one action item or one section of activism, but at the same time, um, 
you know, we, we want to facilitate kind of the on-ramp for people to have meaningful things to do, which means sometimes us creating something like we did with our postcarding campaign. So because we found that we could be really responsive really quickly with creating action items like we did in these various um, campaigns. Um, and what that's taught us is that, um, well, I mean, it's amazing just the way this whole um, season has come together with Trump being what he is and Republicans being what they have been with regards to obstructing um, you know, people's right to vote. And it has become just outlandish. And um, we have um, you know, gotten such an education in this process and that this all comes back to Georgia and with Stacey Abrams leadership and, and all, the, all the organizations in Georgia that have worked together with her, which is a new Georgia project, uh, Black Voters Matter and lots of others. Um, they have coordinated so well over 10 years and have really got the message out that it is, that voting is like breathing. You just gotta do it. You gotta do it and don't, you know, it's, 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 um, it's uh, a process and um, uh, don't, don't, don't think too much just about that. That's just what we do. And so we wanna be a part of getting that message out moving forward and, and really you know, being a part of that particular element of the movement and exactly how that takes form um, after the elections are over. I can't exactly tell you at this second, but I have a feeling we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna hit the ground running in 2021. Um, as we as we you know move on, but you know that getting people like like um like we were hearing about you know there are twenty three thousand people that were just turning um, eighteen in Georgia between voter registration um, extended date of the seventh of December and the fifth of January twenty three thousand coming of age during that part well. The last election was won by 12,000 votes um, in, in Georgia, um, Biden over Trump. So these margins are so small and, and, and you know, getting to these new voters. So there'd be plenty of work for us to do just in that kind of voter registration area. And also, like I say, this film that we're gonna be screening again for the fourth time on this coming Monday, all in the fight for democracy, is, um, is I feel really core um, as a kind of a, a, um, a message and something that we can point to, to, to get people excited and educated about the ups and downs that this country has been through, um, through um, you know, reconstruction after the civil war, when things got better, 60% of black people could vote in the South or were registered to vote rather. And then as we got into, by one vote, they pulled the troops out of the South and then became a hundred years of darkness and, and Jim Crow and all of these, these things that caused um, the voter registration amongst black people, as the woman said in the film uh, trailer that we saw, go down to 1.6% after World War II from 60% and reconstruction after the Civil War. So, you know, the, then voter rights came in and it ticked back up and things were going good. And then the Republicans figured out how to do it again. And they got this shell, they, they gutted the Voter Rights Act and Shelby versus um, Holder in 2013 brought on this whole new dark age. Well, this film brings all that together. And so to educate you know, more and more people about these ebbs and flows that we've experienced and to really sink our teeth into, into that fight I really feel like that's gonna be core to um, what Envoys for Humanity is all about, as well as getting people to realize that, as I said earlier, you don't become an Envoy for Humanity as far as this group is concerned. Everybody's an Envoy for Humanity when they're involved in the process of doing something for the greater good. So, you know, that's kind of where we're headed. Best answer yet. <laughs> Excellent answer. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, but you know, you guys are like, you know, when I think Envoy, I think the Jedi, you know, you guys are kind of like the Jedi. You go and you're flexible enough to interface with all these, you know, any any community and sort of, and there's people from all over involved and you empower people. So I think that that is a, you know, that's the Jedi, Jedi way, man. You guys are doing it. Thank you so much. Your vote of confidence and hearing that just, it, 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 it empowers us to, you know, to, to feel we're connecting with with folks on the you know like you who, who have got their antennas up and uh, 
So thank you for that. And we look forward it. to working together all, you know, we, we know that we'll, that we'll be working together, moving down the line. So Litbone, you are just so powerful and so helpful. Thank you so much. I'm honored to be involved. Thank you guys. Right on. Well, Kari, um, thanks for letting me ramble on with Litbone there. That was so much fun. And um, you have such a wonderful way of bringing it all together and, and putting it in perspective and, and putting a bow on it. What do you think? Yes. Uh, thank you, Lebon. That, that was kind of perfect about how we operate. Uh, we kind of just, we go where we feel the need is and we just kind of still, I mean, we do planning and we, there's a lot of hard work that go into it, but we really just go where, where we need to be um, and just try to, to find where our, our, our place fits in the world. And um, yeah. I, I want to um, how we've really been working with a bunch of groups in which, and we want to continue that is, is to bring in the people that are working on the ground and the experts in these different areas and bring them in and, and help amplify them and kind of be the sounding board for them and following their leadership and, and creating this, this community and this space where people that maybe they don't know where to start. They, they have this, this, this feeling in their heart where they, they want to be involved, they, they want to make a, a bigger impact in, in their world around them or in the bigger world, but they don't know where to start. And that's where um, envoys can come in and give that support and that sense of community and, and help them build. And I'm one of those people because I've never done anything like this in my life before of when you, when you feel the love and you feel support from people around you, you get that strength and it makes you a stronger person to be able to to put yourself out there. And, um, and, and that's really what we are all about. So then you put the Jedi, you put that in there perfectly with one word. That's what we should try to say. Um, I, I want to apologize for calling you Carrie before it's Kari. I apologize. I know that I, please forgive me. Okay. <laughs> no, that's, I get it. I get it all the time. Yeah. My mom wanted to make my life a little crazy and call me Kari, but, um, yeah, no, no worries. <laughs> um, so thank you guys so much. I did put in the chat our, our link to all of our virtual um, events that are coming up. We are now also partnering with Jersey Girls and they are doing a postcarding effort with a little bit of a holiday tilt to it. So um, if you wanna join us on Fridays, we'll be writing postcards and talking everything important um, um, in Georgia. Um, and then we're also doing with the Women of Color Coalition, we're gonna be doing every two weeks, a um, either a, a book club or a round table event talking about really important events. And so that will be happening every other Wednesday. So we have stuff on Fridays, we have stuff on every other Wednesdays. Don't forget about Monday, um, we have our screening. And if, again, if you haven't watched it before, we thought it was so important and so impactful that this is our fourth time um, doing this to try to bring more people in because I'm one, from one of those schools that I believe in in education and so if people are educated um, in these different topics and these different issues that are happening around the world if you have a place from education then you are more likely to just push forward and try to make that change if you know and you learn and you're kind of immersed in it and so so please join us on Monday and then every Tuesday we have this magical event um through december and 29th then, hey kari one one quick thing yeah. before you wrap it up i just got some news here i want to share with everybody we got um, a message um from um our first guest uh danilia who has received an invitation to play you know she's done georgia on on my mind this recreation of it with um with mickey um, Facts, who is an amazing rapper, and um, they have been invited on to Morning Joe, along with Stacey Abrams to discuss, and and and, and you know, and she'll have a chance to discuss the video. So I'm I've been pushing that video really hard since the last I did. It just is such a powerful video. If you guys haven't seen it, um, maybe what we'll do tonight is we'll close by putting it on. Um, I'll grab it as you're finishing up, Kari, and then um, and then uh, stick it in the chat for you if you don't mind putting it on. Okay, or if you just want to find it and screen share it, and okay. that, can, that can close Let's us see. out. Where, yeah. Where's the video? I mean, the there's an audio button. I don't know where that is for the video. Let's see. So when so when you share, there's a little check mark that you have to check off right before you hit the share button. Okay. 
and then it'll put your sound on. So thank you guys so much for joining us. So we will close. That's really exciting news because she had an incredible voice. Um, so we'll, we'll close out with, with that video. Uh, make sure that you join us um, in our virtual events. You can go to Mobilize and find us on, um, on for On Voice for Humanity on Mobilize. You can also go to our website, onvoiceforhumanity.org slash postcarding. <laughs> You're cracking me up. I, get, I have like very few spaces up there, but I can see live bone. <laughs> um, because I have a speaker view for our live stream. Um, and so you can go to envoysforhumanity.org slash postcarding. That will give you information on how to write postcards to young voters in Georgia. We have tons of addresses. We will not run out. We need everybody to write as many as they can. Um, and you can also um, find out all of our virtual events that are coming up from that one spot. So envoysforhumanity.org slash postcarding will get you all the information that you need that we've talked about tonight. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us and um, have a beautiful rest of your week. Scott, you can take it away when you're ready. All right, you guys, it's coming. If you'll stick around, it is, I promise it's coming. <laughs> I can do a, do a little dance. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Like I said, my heart is just full on a daily as we see, um, you know, how many people are requesting addresses by the hour. It's getting crazy and that's, we expanded our team. Everybody that works behind the scenes to, to make all of this happen. Um, we've been going since December of 2018. And so we are, I, I don't even know, I got to look on the date when, when Scott reached out to me by Facebook, Facebook Messenger, we had never met before. Um, and it was during Envoy, it was during Beto's run for Senate. And he was like, hey, do you want to take all this online excitement that we're seeing in this, this Beto page and bring it to real life? And I was like, sure. And two years, almost two years later. Under the whole day through. Just an old sweet song keeps you yeah. on my mind. Congratulations, Biden won. But there's another election. Don't think the job is done. I know we kind of numb because our voice has been silenced. They're trying to take our right to vote. Suppression is a virus. We got to keep fighting. The Senate's up for grabs. Black votes matter is more than a hashtag. Let's have the last laugh. Let your voice be heard. We got to move on. And I'm just trying to reiterate what John Lewis told us. Other arms reach out to me. Other eyes smile tenderly. Look, it's time to register. Gots to save America. I'm tired of seeing red. We need blue for our retinas. Stacey Abrams, we need you right now. I believe in the power of words. The time's I'll send now. Georgia, Georgia. Everything else, I am a mother. Oh. Vultures suppressing the people yeah. just from voting. Bogus, they probably thinking we all hopeless, atrocious. One word in my mind as I wrote this focus. This is the time we take notice. Well, the they showed up at Major King on November 3rd. And they're gonna make a change again on the Still in peaceful dreams I see The road leads back to you Oh, I said Georgia No peace I'll find Just a old sweet song Keeps a joy
so much. Have a wonderful night and we'll see you for sure next Tuesday. And hopefully we'll see you on Monday for that screening. It's a can't miss. Bye guys. Bye everybody. I'm trying to mute, unmute you guys. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Okay. Say goodbye as you as you log off. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 That was Bye. a great Thank you. Bye. Thanks so much for all you do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 I've been here incognito. <laughs> Thank you. Judy's a rock star.